What's up guys, uh, Cody here. Today we're going to teach you how to throw a lob pass in Madden NFL 16. This is something very simple, but I think that it's very important for us to work this out. I think it's very important for us to look at this um, because I think it is, you know, something that we're going to be using a lot this year. Um, and so what you want to do is when you're, you're, you know, or when you're facing, um, or excuse me, not a lob pass. I'm sorry, I, I said that wrong. Um, when you're facing one-on-one -on -one coverage with a bigger receiver, this is a high pass, and uh, not necessarily a lob pass, a high pass. But what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to, you know, throw a high pass lead to make him use or catch. So you want to place your receiver on a fade so you can hot run him to a fade. And then uh, what you'll see here is when you're facing uh, plays where the safeties are, are not necessarily over the top and you have a one-on-one, -on -one, what we we'll like to do is we we'll like to throw that high pass lead, and and you know we've seen this all season uh, of guys you know being able to make those nice user catches. Um, here we're going to try using Hakeem Nix. Obviously, uh, we may need to go ahead and just use um, our boy Kendall Wright over here on the on the right. And what you'll see here is these nice aggressive catches um, and uh, nice user catches options. So. How we do that, and uh, how do we, you know, get that where only our receiver can catch it, and um, you know that's kind of the art form of this. And uh, so we're going to look at that today. Um, but basically, what you want to do is, if you're on PlayStation 4, you want to hold the L1 button, and this is going to trigger the high pass lead. Um, and so what I like to do is, um, and there you see, wow, what an interception by uh, that guy. And I didn't lob, but I, and I like to put touch on it. I don't like to, I don't like to put bullet streaks. Uh, I don't think they're as effective. Um, some people do, but, um, but you want to hold L1, and then you want to just tap the button. It's going to get a nice opportunity for you to go up, make that aggressive catch, and uh, in one-on-one -on -one coverage, um, it's very it's very important to have this on, in, in my opinion, almost every play, to be able to have a streak to say, okay, if you're not going to have a safety over the top, you know, I can make a nice aggressive catch with Hakeem Nix, go up and make the play. So. Um, Real quick, just a little guide on how to do that. If you're on Xbox, you want to hold LB. If you're on Play, Play, PlayStation 4, you want to hold L1. So you're going to drop back, hold L1, and then right at the right moment when his when the receiver icon lights up, when you get a nice little, it'll it'll light up. Um, it, it, it means that he's basically looking for the ball at this point. And so at that point when his icon lights up, you want to just tap that button, and then you want to hold triangle for a nice aggressive catch um, to the receiver. So, guys, that is how to throw a high pass lead and take advantage of some of the some of the uh, you know passing trajectories of this ga year's games and you see that you don't necessarily have to just throw those on streak routes you can throw them on anything you can throw throw them on post routes you can even throw them on trail routes I mean all of those routes can you know can eventually be highly pass caught but it's most effective on the streak pattern most effective in one-on-one -on -one coverage um, you know where he his icon lights up and you get him a nice one-on-one -on -one opportunity to go up and make that big catch.